like a really no, like. I hate those cars. Yeah. Like a spider. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mindy. I hope you guys are doing very, very well. Hello. Ew. So I ended up having vacation. How exciting. I didn't think I was gonna have vacation because oh are you guys okay? Oh there's a kid peeing. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> I started at the job I'm at as a videographer in February. And so I didn't think that I would have vacation for a while, but I work in a really cool company that prioritizes mental health. So they saw that everyone was kind of getting to like a burnout point and so they put in place a mandated like two times a year long vacation it's actually 10 days so I'm very excited I like you know when you don't think you have something like I didn't think I had vacation so what I found out I did I was like oh my god the world is my oyster so we're going camping nobody's surprised um Jad's really pulled the weight in this camping trip let me or like the packing of this let me tell you guys about it we're gonna get deep for a minute um you know the health issues I talked about in March and then again I think in June so they're like well, ongoing like it's it's still happening and it makes um, movement hard for me. Like it hurts to move and lift things and just be as physically active as I used to. Like even little things will hurt. So uh, there's no lifting for me. There's no like, like I drove a bit too much and now that hurts. So like there's just, it's very limited what I can do right now. And I just kind of spread myself a bit too thin the week before vacation and so I expressed that to Jazz and she like pulled through like a champ. She did all our grocery shopping. She packed the entire car. She went through all of our stuff and like picked what we had to keep and like just like everything. Like you literally did everything. I just had to show up. So thank you. You showed up with your luggage. I showed up with my luggage and half, about that. and half the things forgotten. You guys know I plan camping based on outfits. You know my priorities are right. So I don't have a rain jacket. We just we just realized that I forgot that. No, no, okay, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back here. I, I was kind enough to text Nitty things I almost forgot when I packed, which I didn't, but I just thought it was a nicer way of saying like, don't forget to pack this. <laughs> and rain jacket was on the list and she responded, oh, rain jacket. So then in the car, she was like, I don't have my rain jacket. And then before I was like, don't forget to change the batteries in your headlamp because last camping trip, it was like so dim. And then she looks at me, she's like, I forgot my headlamp. What else did you forget? We'll find out. No, 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 there was more things. There was more than just headlamps. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, she didn't pack pants. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't pack any pants. I packed like five shorts. And Jad's like, you do this every time. It gets cold at night. And I'm like, ah, uh, whatever. But I packed pants now. Um, so thank you for that. I bought like, I brought one pair of sweatpants to sleep in. And then one, whatever, whatever. Okay, you guys, I brought really cute outfits though. Yeah, so Jazz really did all of the prep for this. Um, and I want that to be just known on here that I appreciate it and I love you. You know, like when, especially this like, like relationships and stuff, like their partnership, and when one person is like down, the other person kind of steps up. And like, this has been difficult for us just because I've been down for so long. Like, this health issue has been going on since March. It is now July. <laughs> So it's, in, it's impeded on a lot of stuff, on a lot of plans. Kilometers, take exit 100 towards Stukely site. Same at the end of Bolton. Stukely, what did she say? Stukely, it's literally spelled S-T-U-K-E-L-Y. Interesting. Um, so yeah, this is impeded on a lot of stuff. As you guys know, we like being very physically active. Usually when we go camping, we're like hiking or canoeing, uh, sorry, kayaking, and just doing all these physical things, um, which this year we can't do. So we're trying very hard to just be optimistic and make the most of it and that is in large part due to this one um so yeah we're almost there we're about five minutes away uh it is 6 30 p.m and we are so excited we've never been to the eastern townships before together have you been yeah i'm sure i've been okay i don't think i've been um yeah, so this is a new place to camp in exploring new campsites is always exciting yeah and in uh we're having a pretty fun summer because we're going to Quebec City. We've never been to Quebec City together. I know you guys. Next weekend. No. Take exit 100, then turn right on well, 7 to Quebec City. The last weekend in July, we're going to Quebec City, but that's another vlog. Look at oh, this road. Driving. Whoa, this road. Uh, whoa. Hello. So we arrived. I didn't update you guys while we were setting up because I just wanted to be as efficient as possible <laughs> um, and set up before it got too dark. I don't know if this is light work, kind of. So we're in our campground. Let me show you guys the setup. So, 
here's the car. We've got our fire pits here. I'm gonna give you guys a tour when it's bright out again so you guys can actually see, but one picnic table there. This is our kitchen tent area. Um, picnic table, table, all our stuff. And then this is the tent. Look how cute. You're gonna love this. I'm really excited for it. These ones have hooks on them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm excited to see this. So, <laughs> it looks so scary right now. Okay, oh thank you, that's better, that's better. Yeah. So Jazz did all the grocery shopping, so I haven't seen the snacks yet. We just had dinner in our cute little tent that you can't see right now. Um, I am the ray of light. <laughs> yeah, this is Jazz, she's an orb. <laughs> And we're gonna go through the snacks to get. Wait, hello, I need my light. We're gonna go through the snacks. <laughs> okay, do your tour. Okay, so this is really thoughtful, by um, the way. Easy. Like, okay. So I thought for snacks for you, you these might be quick and easy. Mm -hmm. So I got Love you those. two of those. This is your tea. Yeah. These are your made goods. Oh, I like those. Yeah, I know. Um, this is for my coffee. <gasps> Shh, don't tell, it's a secret. I see Miss Vicky's. Yeah, there's Miss Vicky's. So there's regular one. I didn't know if you'd be wanting to have this one because it might be a little chocolatey. I'll try any. And then this is the five pound. Oh my gosh. Right? This is probably so good. It's probably so expensive. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time you did our camping groceries without me. And she texted me like, hey, the bill is a bit much. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. Normally our camping groceries, we get it down to like, what, 70? Yeah. Walmart was 90 and Tao was 30. You are the more bougie one amongst us. I am. Yeah. And I'm not afraid to admit it. No. But mind you, like, uh, your corn was three for four dollars. or This is not for, a me thing. One for two dollars. So obviously I'm going to buy three for four. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that these are my two favorite flavors, it's very endearing. So it's caramel and that's mint. I love you. I love you. Um, we did lights this year. And it looks really cute. Oh, this is fun. I can see myself. Hello. So we put lights everywhere. We've got these beer pong cups over here. And then over there, we have like outdoor lights. And then over here, we've got little lanterns. So welcome to our crib. Um, an exciting thing that I want to show you guys. Is I bought one of these. Your hand tired? I was going to put it down. Yeah, I'm not a vlogger. I want some of it to be... It's not even on my face. Come on. Jazz is filming. Why? We don't know, but I appreciate it. Part of this trip? I wanted a little part of this trip, but I want to leave this camera in different places and then whoever wants can just pick it up. It's you and I, it's just Judd. Um, can just pick it up and take some pictures because in both my job and my normal life, like I'm the curator of all content that I see and then there's no element of surprise for me. Like I know exactly what photos I've taken. I know exactly what's being filmed. I know everything. So there's no like fun like, oh, there was this moment that happened, you know? And then Jazz, when we went somewhere last weekend, took a picture of me at a, like a random moment. And I was like, that's one of my favorite pictures now because it's like through your eyes. Mm -hmm. You thought I looked nice that moment. You wanted to capture something and it was really meaningful. So I was like, we'll just do this. Because you don't have to do any settings. You just kind of like, you know? There is a crank. Oh, cute. Keep me back up to here. I know. I'm cold. <laughs> okay, so we got in bed. I brought two sets of PJs. Cold PJs and warm PJs. Made the wrong call though. I'm wearing my own warm pjs and i'm shivering literally the whole time we were outside she's like i'm getting cold i'm getting cold puts on her warm pjs i mean t-shirts and shorts but anyways i'll the change logic. yeah um we're about to watch a movie we've never done this while camping before so this is a whole vibe what movie you brought well, 17 because, movies well because we've never had electricity while camping so it's pointless to bring a laptop but also like that's not the vibe usually we're outside yeah. But this time, circumstances are different, so we're having more chill days. So she brought her laptop with 17 movies she thought I'd like. So we're gonna watch what? Stick It. It's one of my, like, I loved this movie growing up. I think I watched it like a hundred times. Um, as many of you know, it's a lot of people's gay awakening, that one scene. Um, it's in the first three minutes, so. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I've been trying to get Nadie to watch it forever. All the movies I've been trying to get Nadie to watch, I put on this and I didn't <laughs> give her many options. So. Yeah. No, I did. I put some of her favorites on. Yeah. But uh, I'm looking forward to I'm excited to watch movies. We don't get to watch movies I know. Often. We never watch movies. Okay, bye. I'm exhausted. I made it through half the movie. Okay, I'm surprised. You didn't make it through half. Let's just say I made it. Give, give this to me, okay? I think, I think I made it through half the movie. I feel drunk. I'm not. Um, yeah, we watched half the movie. It was very nice. She gave me a big, 
big gay energy, which I love, you know? Um, we're gonna go to sleep now. Are you gonna go to sleep now? Yeah, I'm going to sleep now. Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm so tired. Oh, I know. I'm so tired. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Can you see me? It is the next day, bright, very bright outside. It's about 9.30. Um, I want to give you guys a proper look at our campsite because it was too dark yesterday, so. Car. Girlfriend in the kitchen tent. Fire area. Another picnic bench and then our actual tent down there. So we're gonna have some breakfast now. I'm gonna grab my stuff over here. Mm -hmm. This is breakfast. She eats very little, so there's chia seed. There's chia pudding somewhere under there. You can't really see it. Coffee that she made. Um, my chia pudding and then I got this smoothie guess where we're at okay not this side this side looks like a dumpster guess where we're at over there a spa um as we know i've mentioned a billion times my body is going through it right now uh, mentally and physically i feel like garbage so um we have been trying to find things that we can do and it came across my mind. I don't know how we came to talking about spas, but I was like, I could really go for a massage. I was thinking about doing it when we get back from camping, but how lovely would it be for us to go together? Especially here, like, well, you're just eating bread in the corner. Oh, fart. <laughs> I didn't know I was in the shop. That's okay, come That was great. You were so into that bread. So I called a couple places today. I called a couple spas and found an outdoor couples massage outdoor couples massage anyways um so we're gonna we drove it's on monday that we booked it for but we um came by today to just see what it looks like and like get the vibe for it so we're gonna head in i'm excited good morning i just took a life-changing nap i don't usually nap i think i can count on one hand how many times i have napped in this life <laughs> it's very unfortunate but i find that i'm not able to nap very much i just can't stop overthinking 4 30 now it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. How was your nap? It's 5.30. Oh, <laughs> how was your nap? My nap was A1. So good. Wow. Like napping with the sounds of outside. For dinner, we've got hot dogs and fries for her. And I'm doing um, soft tacos again because you, you changed my life this morning with the soft tacos. So I got vegan sour cream, um, olives, corn, and then fake meat and lettuce and all this stuff. Look how exciting these tacos look. Are you a food blogger now? <laughs> no, but look how exciting they look. Everybody, post dinner update. I have stolen Jad's sweater once again. But you can't get mad at me because look how cute it looks. <laughs> Jad's made this beautiful fire. She's very good at this stuff. I love it. How Are you proud of this fire? Yes, she is. She just went to go shower. I think I'm gonna go now as well. I'm hoping these kids go to bed soon. <laughs> Hello, back from the shower. Nighttime vibes are on. Jazz put on the lights here. You've got our fire going here. I'm about to make s'mores. I don't know if you guys remember from the millions of other camping vlogs, I am a s'more master. Do you agree? You are the s'more. I don't make s'mores. I don't. Today I'm gonna make a pot marshmallow just because we got these new sticks that I wanna try. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I don't make, Nitty is the s'more master. <laughs> It's been a fun day. Your battery's dying as per the usual. <laughs> Fine. This is so cute though. It is. What a vibe. What a vibe. Good morning. It is the next day. It was raining last night, which is beautiful because I love sleeping to the rain. But I somehow woke up at like seven in the morning today. Oh, sorry, that side's messy. I won't show you that side. <laughs> I woke up at seven in the morning, unsure why. I just woke Jad's up. Um, I think she's getting breakfast prepped, but overall a nice day. It is kind of rainy and wet outside, so not sure what we'll do, but I love camping. Morning. It's actually the afternoon. We napped again. 
camping us? What is time in the first place? Oh, <laughs> smoky. Like, first of all, I already knew that time isn't real. I keep trying to tell Jazz that she's a little bit, she's a little bit harder to convince about that kind of stuff. But I think she's getting on my side of believing it. <laughs> it was rainy all day today, so we did literally nothing. We napped. Um, then we went into town. Then we finished off the movie because it was raining still today, so we couldn't actually do anything outside. It was supposed to be our beach day, but couldn't do that so we finished off um, 28 days which was actually super good I'm in love with Sandra Bullock she's one of my favorite actresses so um, we watched stick it the first night and then um, 28 days yesterday or today and it was really good I can't make it through movies usually so I had to watch it in two sittings but it was so nice it's been a really loaf day I think this is what vacation supposed to be Anyways, Jazz has made a fire, as usual. I am chilling here, right next to it, watching the fire that she made. Um, and yeah, it's been a good day. What else is new? I just want to see my sweater. My sweater's really cute. It's actually mine this time, believe it or not. I'm wearing something of my own. Um, but I think Jazz got it for me. The company is L.L. Bean. Pretty sure it's an outdoor, like, sportings good company, L.L. Bean. And it is so warm. It's like warms up my soul, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go sit by the fire and have a nice time. Oh, good friend. This side we are not talking about. Should we make it perfect? Perfect. perfect. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day. I don't know if I filmed anything today, but we are heading to the spa. I am so excited. We're doing like like baths and stuff in the morning and then our massage is at one o'clock. It's an outdoor massage, how exciting. I've never done one of those before. and I think I'm drunk. You are drunk. Hi friends. So much happened. <clears throat> Those massages were life changing. I felt drunk for the next like two, three hours maybe afterwards. Like I think I reached a whole nother level of my brain. I've never been able to like mentally check out. Oh, the sun, wow. I've never been able to mentally check out. Um, like half just like normal anxiety and half like, I don't know what. But I'm always like, oh, like, is it ending soon? Is my body in the right place for this? Should I move? Am I making anything hard for this person? Like, just normal people pleasing stuff that I'm trying to get rid of. But this was the first time I was able to completely disconnect. And let me tell you, I think what made a big difference is the fact that it was outside. Like, I am going to put little snippets. I think I already did. <clears throat> the sound of the waterfall and the river and just the wind. Magical. Like... I think I fell asleep three times, at least, which just doesn't happen. I've taken so many naps on this trip. Like, I think I'm really in vacation mode. Like, this is what adult vacations are, and I'm so impressed. What I thought was weird, I'm gonna stop saying I'm a psychic because, no, I'm gonna stop saying I think I'm psychic because at this point, I know I am. Either psychic or intuitive, I don't know what it is, but when I was on my stomach and this magical masseuse was massaging me, <clears throat> I visualized like groupings of pain whether that's emotional physical mental whatever it is groupings of pain bunching up and then leaving my body i have always done that since a kid since i was a kid i don't know how that started i think my sister does it too um i think oh it started when i had my period i would i used to get really really bad period cramps and i would start visualizing like it leaving like it evaporating from my body anyways so that started happening like it just me i don't know if i was asleep or where i was in my head but I was visualizing pockets of pain just kind of gathering and then like leaving my body and then she asked me to turn onto my back so that she could do my front and I was laying there on my back and my eyes are closed and I start visualizing the same thing like um, pockets of pain and then like it leaving and then I kind of opened my eyes for a second and her hands were going like like this above my body like not touching me like she wasn't touching me at this point she just had her hands above my body and she was going like this like like this and then like this. And I kid you not, like, thank God I had a mask on because my face was like, I was like, wait a second. This is exactly what I was imagining is happening. But I had my, I was, 
my stomach was on the mat. I couldn't see her the first time I visualized it. And I was like, was it happening at the same time? Because now I've turned around and I can actually see her and it's happening at the same time. You guys, I don't know if I explained that right, but like I was literally laying and she was going like this and like pulling and it was the exact same thing that I was visualizing as happening energy wise or like bad pain wise from my body because it's been mentally and physically very hard these past couple of months. So I was like, that's what makes me feel good. That's what makes me feel like I'm getting a release. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wait a second. I've never seen that in a massage. I've gotten so many and I've never seen somebody not actually be massaging you. I've never seen somebody doing this whole hovery pull thing. Like my eyes were closed. Like it's not like she was like, ooh, I have to do this because I have to do this, you know? Anyways, but also very cool. I don't know if that's called Reiki. I think maybe it's something similar to Reiki. I think I should probably look that up. Overall, very cool though. Morning. It is our last morning here. Jazz is packing up the tent. I'm packing up this stuff outside for this tent. I, we think it's gonna rain soon at like 10, so we got about an hour. And I don't know if you guys know this, I found this out the hard way, that if it rains, when you are trying to do takedown, you have to then put everything back up when you get home so that it air dries. It's the most annoying thing ever. I hated that. And I didn't even do it. You don't have to do it. <clears throat> yeah, but it's so bad, like it's so gross if you pack it up wet and just don't open well, it. Yeah, mold. mold, yeah. So it rains in about half hour, well, an hour. So we are rushing to pack this up so that we don't have to open it up when we get home again. The car is packed. We're ready to go home. Um, so that's the end, everybody. <laughs> that's the end. That's the end. But we beat the rain. We did it. It started to drizzle. As soon as we got into the car, it started to rain a bit. So, phew. Don't have to set up everything when we get home because yeah. it's pretty much a solo job at this point because I can't help with the takedown or setup. But anyways, I mean, you help with pegs and stuff. Yeah, I just pass you stuff and take stuff. Oh, rain! Don't even hide your excitement. You're so happy about this. Like. This dad thing. Well, to <laughs> reset up the whole tent, but we were smart about it too. Yeah. We like, we had one tent where like, it's not too bad to put this one up. So let's put everything under there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. It's been a minute since a camping vlog. Um, so I hope that this was fun for you guys. Um, I had a really nice time. I never know how to end these. It was a lot of fun. We did a lot of fires, a lot more than we normally do, which was a so nice. Wonderful, marvelous. Um, but yeah, I love you guys very much. I hope that this was fun to watch, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.